Now MailerLite in my opinion is the best email marketing tool out there and in today's video I'm going to show you everything needed to know to actually get started using MailerLite. To get started we will have to head over to MailerLite. If you guys do want to support me for completely free you can use my affiliate link down below. Either way, once you are right here, you will have to just click on sign up free and then you will have to put in your personal details. And once you've created yourself an account, this is how the dashboard is going to look like. Now, by default, you are going to have a 30 day free trial. However, just make sure to click on upgrade right here and make sure to then actually select the plan that you want to get after the 30 day free trial. And right here, you can then actually also check out for this exact plan. Either way, let's now continue with the dashboard of MailerLite. As you can see on the left, we are going to have different kind of sections. First of all, the overall dashboard. This is just going to give us an overview of all of the different stats, analytics and so on. Then we do have campaigns. Right here, we basically are going to have the option to create either regular campaigns, AB split campaigns, RSS campaigns, or we can actually also do auto send campaigns and multivariate campaigns. Most of the times you are only going to use regular campaigns and AB split campaigns. Now these campaigns basically are just your typical emails that you are going to send out randomly. However, you can actually also set up automations right here. And these automations are then basically going to allow you to automate welcome emails, anniversaries, birthdays and so on. You are then actually also going to see an in-depth overview of your subscribers right here. Now this is super useful because with MailerLite you can actually segment all of your subscribers. Now this is basically just a dynamic kind of subdivision of your subscriber list. So if you, for example, like myself, do have a YouTube channel and if you are going to get subscribers for multiple niches like Shopify, email marketing, for example, obviously you would want to divide that because these two niches are going to be interested in different things. And there are a lot of other options also where you could potentially use this. Alternatively, you can actually also just use fields right here. Now, these fields are just going to be basically information about your subscribers. So these are going to be stuff like the zip code, state, last name, first name, country, city, and so on. You can actually also create a new field. So for example, if you do want to create something like a birthday field, you could do so. And then as for the type, obviously this would be the date. And now once we've actually created this, we can actually later on use this to actually, for example, set up a birthday sequence, birthday automation, sorry, where whenever a subscriber is going to have their birthday, we are then going to send out a special discount, for example. Now, MailerLite is then basically also going to have the forms option. So right here, we are going to differentiate between pop-up forms, embedded forms, as well as promotions. Now, these three forms are basically used to get automatic subscribers onto MailerLite. So by actually creating a pop-up, you can actually integrate this onto your website. Same goes for embedded forms and promotions. On the sides, we can actually also create a full-on landing page. And once again, right here on the automation, we are then actually going to have the option to set up automations. Additionally, you are going to see the general account settings right here, as well as all of the different integrations with which, which MailerLite is going to offer. So let's actually get started by creating our first email marketing campaign. So I'm just going to send this out. This is going to be a regular campaign and now we will have to actually name this. So I'm just going to name this test campaign 123. And then as for the subject, I'm just going to do test 123 once again, as I just want to give you guys a quick overview. Obviously the subject as well as the pre-header should be something which is kind of going to incentivize people to actually open up the email. Now actually you can also insert personalization onto this. So we can, for example, insert a name, we can insert a last name, as well as the birthday, which we've just created and so on. Additionally, if you don't really know what you do want to put in right here, you can actually also use AI to get some help onto this. Now, right here, we will then have to actually check the recipients. So we will basically have to select where we want to send this email to. I'm just going to select this one right here. And now I'm just going to move forward with the content. Now we are going to have two basically three different options. First of all, the drag and drop editor, rich, rich text editor, as well as custom HTML editor. Now, as for the rich text editor, this is just going to be plain text. And as for the drag and drop editor, this is going to be my personal choice. And with this one, you can basically just create phenomenal email marketing uh, emails within a few clicks. They also do have a great template gallery where you are going to have 
I think 82 templates or something like that. So these are also super handy to kind of streamline your whole email marketing creation process. So I'm just going to choose this right here. Um, and then we are going to move forward by actually customizing this. So as you can see, this is how this is now going to look like. Now, basically what I like about MailerLite is that everything is super intuitive. So if you, for example, do want to edit this text right here, we can just select it and actually add our own custom text onto this. Now, additionally, um, if you do want to basically edit anything inside the MailerLite email marketing builder, you will just have to select it. And then you are going to see all of the different settings on the right. So this right here, for example, would include the social links. You can then actually also select the content style and so on. Now, if you do want to add new stuff, new elements onto your email, you can actually also do this by using these icons and basically by using these elements right here on the left. So you can actually either create a new section from scratch. This is now going to look something like this. And then we can actually add other elements onto this, like for example, a button and so on. Or you can actually also just use any of the pre-made templates, which you can see on the left. Once you are ready, just click on done editing. And now we are going to be basically done with our first email marketing campaign. Obviously this kind of is just going to give you a quick overview. Obviously you should do this way more in depth with your own email. So right here, you are then going to see all of the different options. Like for example, when you do want to send your email and actually I'm just going to close this for now. So let me now also show you how to set up automations. Now, these are also going to be super handy. We can just start from scratch. I'm just going to create a random um, thing right here. So in this case, I'm just going to say that this automation is going to start when a subscriber joins a group. So I'm just going to select this random SF group and we can then actually also add a second trigger if we do want to. In my case, I'm just going to leave it at that. And now we can actually get started by creating and basically by adding a next step. So this could be either an email, delay, condition, action, and so on. So this is actually going to be pretty self-explanatory. You can just add these elements onto your automation and these, generally speaking, are super intuitive and super beginner friendly when it comes to the actual customization process. Alternatively, if you don't want to go through the hassle of creating automations on your own, you can actually also use one of their actually pre-made templates, which you can see right here. And these are super good. So if you, for example, do want to create an abandoned card sequence, you can do so. Online course, birthday wishes, promotions, and so on. You are going to have the tools to actually do this. Now, as already mentioned, MailerLite does also offer a forms builder right here. Now, this forms builder is going to pretty, be pretty self-explanatory. Let me actually show you this. So right here, you will just have to select the subscriber group where this form should actually send the subscriber towards. So I'm just going to select this one. And now we can actually get started building up our form. As you can see, there are some pre-made templates in here. So let's just say that we are going to select this one. And now we are going to have the form builder right here. We can change everything. We can actually also change up the attributes by simply just clicking on here. And by then right here, adding new fields onto this, we can then actually customize these fields. We can change the field type. So we can change this to birthday, for example. We can then select if this field is required and so on. And the same basically, let me actually go out of this. And um, the same actually also goes for the landing page builder on MailerLite. This is also pretty self-explanatory. And this is just going to give you guys a lot of different options of actually building up landing pages within MailerLite. Now, I kind of plan to do an in-depth tutorial, in-depth course in the future. So if you guys do want to see that, please let me know in the comments and by subscribing. Now, additionally, as always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below and make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.